5 a.m. I'm out in the living room. Not one minute of sleep. I just wanted to record exactly what's happening to me. Because in the daytime, I can barely remember the details of why, why this is such a bloody nightmare. So I'm out in the living room, sleeping, attempting to sleep upright. Got a rubber device in my nose to hold my nostril open from the sinus surgery. Wrecked my nostril eight years ago, nine years ago. And the benzo withdrawal. Um, my throat closing. I built this splint, this oral device to try to lock my jaw forward all night. It's, it works. It's extremely painful. It makes my jaw and my teeth and my whole skull just ache. And my throat is still, for the most part, closing awake. So I'm out here upright, trying my best to sleep with this thing in my mouth. What I'm finding since the benzo withdrawal, you know, this, it made my body cave in and it affected my connective tissue. And about a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which I legitimately have because I have many other symptoms of it. But I think I probably could have went to my grave undiagnosed but this benzo withdrawal did a lot of damage to my connective tissue and my arches of my feet tore and the muscle in my diaphragm tore and my throat collapsing and shoulders caving in laying down on my side I can't lay on my back because my lungs collapse in laying on my side my shoulders and shoulders caving in and everything getting pinched up the nerves getting pinched in in the chest area and ribs you know having problems with my ribs laying down and you know it feels like asthma when I lay down clearly something's wrong with my lungs or whatever or you know, my lungs getting squished laying down because I can't lay on my back, so I lay on my side and my lungs are getting squished. And my ribs feel like they're partially caving in. And so I'm out here trying to sleep upright. My head has to be upright as much as possible. But my when I'm upright, my chest and my ribs are kind of caving in. It's hard to breathe and painful. This I just noticed tonight. Um, my lungs are caving in and well I'm sure it was happening before but I couldn't articulate really what's happening and uh, so I'm trying to ar if I arch my back it helps me expand my lungs to breathe but if I arch my back it leans my chair back and um and my throat's closing you know I don't I don't like talking about this much because it's personal but you know my boobs were ripping apart ripping away from me as well, like ripping it away from my body, my breasts. And I've been wearing a bra for three years to bed. 
and whatever this has done to my connective tissue, I wonder even upright if this, you know, that's affecting my ribs right now. And I do not have small boobs. Um, wearing a bra helps. A sh person should not have to wear a bra to bed and be uncomfortable. I never had any of these issues prior to the benzo withdrawal at all. Even though I'm older, uh, my boobs were not doing this. And it wasn't a gradual thing. It was immediate. All of these symptoms were immediate with benzo withdrawal. And I wonder, well, God, can't exactly remove your breasts. Um, um, I'm in so much pain my, where my thighs go into the hips. I'm sitting upright and the pain is just unbearable. And my ribs, my clavicle, my head can't get comfortable, and I'm just in hell. Prior to the benzo, I was sleeping one or two hours a night. I was sleeping three hours a night for many years, then one or two hours a night for a year prior to the benzo withdrawal. And, but I had no pain. I had no ripping or tearing in my body. I'm sure I had undiagnosed apnea but I could lay down I could breathe I wasn't having any pain now I'm 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 in hell um so I don't know if there's any way out of this We'll see how how much I sleep tonight. Uh, I can't go on living with one or two or three hours of sleep. I'm at about eight or nine years of sleeping. One or two or three hours. The past couple nights, I had one and a half hours of sleep each night. And honestly, I was ready to end it. Just in so much pain, literally frantic and losing my mind. Now I'm going to lose my house in about a week and a half, and I know I won't survive that. So I'll have to do another video. Uh, literally going to have to pray for a miracle or pray that somebody rescues me. So, but I wanted to articulate, do a video for myself. You know... It feels like I'm sitting here and I have 300 pounds of wet sandbags attached to my body and it's pulling me down and causing extreme pain and I have to just suck it up and it's hard to breathe and like imagine you know hundreds of pounds of wet sandbags hanging off your shoulders and your chest and your ribs and your hips and it's so heavy you can barely breathe and the whole the, the most I took a towel and all it doesn't it doesn't put it even at zero different zero it makes no difference if I take a Tylenol um the pain I have to just I don't know there's no way of dealing with it I wish I could close my eyes and escape my body um it's hard to breathe it's like sitting someone's sitting on my chest my ribs tonight feel my chest feels like it's caving in and my throat the life or death thing here is 
my throat just closing awake and I just do not sleep at all. Or I sleep one or two or three hours every 24 hours. It's, it's life or death. So, I don't even like talking about it. It's so traumatizing. And I have to close my eyes and deal with the hell. It's five. It's after five in the morning, not one minute of sleep. And I don't know. <laughs>